from 16 News Now. We start our 5 o'clock hour with some breaking new details about the 18-hour standoff in Elkhart County over the weekend that claimed the life of a two-year-old boy. And here is video of that intense arrest of Ryan Snyder, the child's father. You can see Snyder being taken out of the home in handcuffs, marking the end to the standoff. We've also received the probable cause affidavit in the last two hours. Prosecutors have charged Snyder with murder, as well as two additional charges for neglect of a dependent. Our Erica Jimenez has been digging through those papers. Erica, what have you learned? Yeah, Jordan and Melissa, we now know some of the gruesome details of the final hours of that two-year-old's life and the trauma both ki kids experience. We have to warn our viewers that this may be difficult to hear. According to the probable cause of a David, the mother dropped the two children off on July 5th. This was part of their visitation agreement in their ongoing custody case. She also says both children were in good health when she dropped them off. The mom then left the state. The next day, Saturday, she got a video call from Snyder and her two children. During the call, Snyder made one of the children tell their mom, quote, Dad said that we are not going to see you again. Snyder also said other erratic things like he was going to end it all. He also referred to himself as the Alpha Omega, which is a biblical reference to Jesus. The mother called police and that prompted the 18 hour standoff, which we know had a tragic ending for that two year old boy. The probable cause affidavit states that the two year old boy had some bruising throughout his body. He was also cold to the touch and his clothing appeared to be wet. Neighbors telling our team that they are in total shock. Just a shock to this neighborhood. This is a very, very nice, well-established Jimtown neighborhood. We've been here, like I say, 24 years. Nothing has ever remotely come close to something like this happening. I mean, you can hear somebody's mailbox getting bashed, but nothing like this that's so horrendous. Snyder is being held without bond. As for the results of that autopsy, further testing is needed and will not be confirmed for several weeks. This means that the cause of death has not been officially determined. All right, Erica, really tragic update, but thank you for that. We appreciate it.